Good afternoon, Philippines, and welcome to the Connect Ash Room. This is the Philippine Super League Grand Prix 2014, and it all boils down to this. It's a do or die Friday as far as these four teams are concerned. Semifinals coming your way. This is what we have Petron up against Signal first. And in our second match, it's Generica up against RC Cola Air Force. Anthony and I here together with Chiki Pablo and Chiki. Obviously, this is what all the teams have been preparing for, positioning as far as they're concerned, just to be able to make it here to the top four. And they are here, and we're yes. going to have a great day ahead of us. Yeah, and you know, the good thing about the semifinals is that everybody is back on equal footing. So forget about all the wins, all the losses in the past, and whoever protects their court, not allowing that ball to fall on the floor, Lord gets to, pro to proceed in the finals on Sunday. And there you have it. This is the road to the finals as far as they're concerned. So you've got to win. If not, you cannot play on Sunday. Yes, yes, you can play on Sunday, but not for the finals. It's going to be for a battle for third place. Let's take a look at the, the, the stats of these imports because obviously these imports are going to be able to dominate for both these squads. And remember, this is a double round elimination phase. And so yes. they faced each other before. So first, we will show you the numbers of these two teams when they faced each other. And so these are numbers na hindi kasama yung mga ibang teams pa. Okay. As we can see here, Petron defeated Signal 3-0. to zero. I think this was the first time that Signal lost because they were winning in the first few games. I guess uh, the local support of uh, Signal really here proved that they have to step up to come up with a better game. And there on your screens, you see the second round matchup, Petron yes. also defeating Signal. And so they are 2-0 and against yes. Signal. When you talk about Signal, obviously, do you think it's playing in the back of their minds? Let's take a look at these numbers first, and then I'll go back to that question. Look at the numbers. Very impressive there. Yeah, you know, the thing here that I noticed is that Lindsay Stalzer has a higher point in terms of attacks compared to Bergsma. But I think really it's because of the distribution of sets. Petron has a lot of local support that the setter can go to. But in Signal, it's really just Lindsay and Amerman, Amerman. That's a very good point. Now, I'll go back to that question I was yes. giving you. Obviously, Signal, you know, when they look at Petron, they're like, we have not yet beaten them before. Yeah. So we've got to beat them here today or else, you know, our season, at least looking and vying for the championship is over. Yeah, and you know, Signal really has to step up when it comes to their first ball. Because you can't have a good attack if the first ball is not there. And then they have to run after the ball no matter where the ball goes. Pag hindi ka pa nauumpog, habulin mo yung bola. As they say, there is no tomorrow for both these squads. But I think the pressure obviously will be a little bit more on Signal as compared to Petron because Petron has been lording it over all their opponents. Let's take a look at this now. The conference averages of these key players here today. Yeah, you know, if you'll notice there, our local support in Tubino only has 7.9 in average. So it just means that Signal is really relying a lot on the reinforcements. So Tubino has to increase her score. Braca has to increase her score. I think the middle hitters have to step up. They have to exert their uh, presence in this ball game today. And what about these three? Talking about Petron, they have relied on these three all throughout the conference at sigurado hindi magbabago yung mga yari sa araw na to. Malamang, pero the thing that I can see here is that Erika Adachi has 45.4 excellent sets. That just means that the first ball, the reception of the team is good. And so we'll see if they can actually continue to come up with those numbers because it's going to be very critical for Petron. If they do want to come out with the victory here today, they need to have their stars coming up with their A game. Right now, let's check in with Selena Dagdag. Yes, Anthony and Chicky here with me is Coach George. Coach George, you've had a very great run this season, not just against Signal, but with the other teams as well. Meron po ba ba kayong gustong adjustments na makita sa kapunan yun? Ngayon, papasok tayo sa laban na ito. Uh, yes, kasi uh, same sa to. So, yung mga previous games namin, uh, ibang level yun. So, ibang level na rin to, ibang intensity. So, ibang uh, game plan. Yun, uh, yun ang uh, pinagandaan namin for uh, today. Day. Coach, having said that, there's also a great possibility na kayo po ang maglalaro sa finals. Masasabi niyo pang at, at this point ay handa na kayo? Uh, psychologically, uh, physically, uh, mentally, strategies, uh, tactically is uh, prepared naman. Yung emotionally, misal, eh, nandun na mga players. Pero ma-overcome namin kasi napag-usapan na namin yung mga regarding sa mga ganong problema. So, hopefully ma-overcome namin. Maraming salamat po, Coach George, and good luck po sa game niyo. That is all for now, Anthony and Chiki.
Thank you very much, Selena. We are just setting the table for each and every one of you. When we come back, this is it, the first of our two semifinals this Friday afternoon. Don't go away, our very first game. It's Petron up against Signal. The Philippine Superliga is brought to you by Petron, fuel for everyone. And there are your officials here for our semifinals. And they will be handling proceedings for the first of our two semifinals here today. National referee Jess. And now let's meet the starters for these two teams for our very first semifinal. And now let us meet the starting lineup for both teams, starting with the Petron Blaze Spikers, starting with. Number nine, Erica Adachi. Sixteen, Benet Santiago. Number four, Carmina Agado. Number two, Elena Persma. Number 13, Micah Morada. Number 7, Frances Molina. And the libero formed up in front, please. Number 12, Jen Reyes. The head coach for the Patron Blaze Fighters is Coach George Pascal. And now, here are your starting lineup for the Signal HD Spikers, starting with number nine, Sharice and Cheta. Number 16, Abigail Raja. Number 10, Sarah Averman. And number one, Sherry May Vivas. Number 15, and team captain, Royce Tubino. And number six, Lindsay Stolzer. And, number 13. and there on your screens, but Stalzer, you just didn't see that. But I she comes up with an acrobatic move here. I guess she doesn't have any pain on her leg anymore. Well, that is what's going to happen coming off a game wherein you actually were just cheering for your teammates. Yeah. Now you can 110%. Oh, siguro ito talagang hungry for some action. Wow, we missed that on the camera. We were showing you, of course, the graphic of... The starters for J this, this squad from Signal. And we missed that acrobatic somersault. You know, she did that also in the opening of uh, the Superliga. So talagang ano to, acrobatic. At gusto niya na pagkatapos nitong laro, pag manalo sila, kung manalo sila, she's gonna do another one. Oh, sige. Sana she does another one. Well, as far as the Signal fans are concerned, yun ang pinagdadasal nila. <laughs> On the other side of the coin, you saw Erika Dachi. And she was all business. Erika Dachi will start things off. Serving here is our semifinals coming your way. It's Signal up against Petron. Number one team, Petron, up against the number four seeded team, which is Signal. You know what Petron should do to win this match is to just minimize their errors because they have a strong middle hitter, outside hitter. Their defense is good, as you can see. There you go. A point from Bergsma immediately. Your voice must have been so loud. Yeah, certainly. They heard you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Good cross-court hit, targeting zone six. Nobody was there. For Signal, what they should do is really move around, especially the libero because uh, she's the anchor for the back zone defense. Stalzer from the back. A good hit there by Stalzer. 
Is it crucial for Signal to try to stay in step here with Petron, especially in the early stages? I think Signal should start out stronger and faster than Petron. Braca with the serve. They go to Dindin. She is blocked. That's a good start for Signal. They're up, a, up by one point. Mukha lakas ng, lakas ng bosses mo ngayon. Oo oh, nga, dinig na dinig. Narinig na naman, sabi mo, they need to start out stronger at yun na nga yung nangyari. Oo oh, nga, very good. Let's see if Braca can score through her serve. Good floater there. Bergma goes down the line. There was no defense there and we are tied at two. That's what I'm saying. The back row has to be on their toes. They can't be caught flat-footed. Look at this hit again. Down the line. There was no effort of any movement there by the back row players. Here we go with Din Din Sanchago. And they go to Stalzer once again. But Stalzer that time not able to get it over the defense. You know, um, Ancheta has to distribute her sets because Petron can already read that they're just going to go to Stalzer for the points. Din Din now up to serve. That's a good. Uh, wow, that was a good ball from Amerman. Did you know that they really target Amerman because she's not very good with the reception? Well, today she has been excellent. She has gotten yeah. every single ball that has gone her way here. Yeah, and I was told it's because she o she overloads in the training for a reception. You can see her crouching low once again. But this time, it goes to the libero. Oh, it's alive. Good match here. Good movement, both court. Janela was trying to get to it. It's going to be a free ball here. They go outside. The defense was there. Adachi, back set. Bergsma scores. That was a good hit by Bergsma going in between the arms of Hardy Royce Tubina and Amerman. The thing is, uh, Tubina was just too far from Amerman. When you block, you have to be together with your partner. Another serving opportunity here for Dindin Santiago. And that Ooh. time she sends it long. That was really floating out of the arena. That one wanted to go all the way back to Binyan. Yeah. <laughs> Amerman with the serve. Bang! Bergsma! She's on fire! You know, Bergsma really just evaded the blockers of Signal. And you can see her encouraging her teammates to keep going. Good combination play there. Now we have Nina Aganon serving for Petron. You see her average is very good. She's got 10 points per game. Oh, yeah. Trying to go to the opposite side. Running out of real estate. And it's a point once again for Petron. This is what uh, we said earlier today. We have that Signal has to minimize also their errors because that's what's killing them right now. And they are down by four early here in this first semifinal. And again, they try to go to Amerman. Yeah. Stalzer, <laughs> unstoppable. A good hit by Stalzer. So powerful. Went in between the blocks. A good jump. Look at this again. Good arms. A drawback and the hit. Well, I guess you have to say she's at 100% today. Oh, yeah. She was not utilized in their final game. That push, running out of space that time for Bergma. Oh, they're going to call a check, boy, check ball, sorry. So that will be a point once again for Bergma, which will bring us to our first timeout. The Philippine Super Liga is brought to you by Energizer Battery. Once upon a time, there was a peaceful valley where everyone lived in perfect harmony. 
Until one day, a black ant found a fabulous treasure. A box of sugar that would change everything. Now the fate of this tiny world depends on the courage of a little ladybug. Minuscule. The adventure has just begun. Jack TV brings you the hottest Grammy Award winner, Kimbra. Finals. Right now, you're watching Petron up against Signal. Team captain there, Lena Bergsma, good serve. Not the best of sets, it's a free yeah. ball once again. Good coverage by Petron. Nicely done by Signal. Let's check in now with Selena. Yes, Anthony and Chicky. In the huddle that just occurred, Coach Sammy first instructed his team to find and target the weakness of their opponents. At this point, he believes that the analysis of how Petron hits should be their focus in order that they may counterattack more effectively. He also reminded them to have presence of mind on court, especially since some of them he pointed out as a bit new to their position. Overall, Coach Sam tells his local and import players to pull each other up in terms of performance and to control Petron's key players, particularly the Din Santiago and and Chicky. Yeah, you know, that's really how you play the game. You know, find out the weakness of your opponent and then target that for an easy score, right? So for serving, you know, you have to look for the weakest serve. Like here, they think that Amerman is the weakest in terms of reception, so they give the ball to her. They have gone exclusively to so Amerman far, no? every yeah. single serve they had. It's directed to her. It's not just in her direction, pero diretso sa kanya. Oh, eh. Parang she hardly has to move, no? It really goes to her. They're really making no qualms about who exactly they're going to. That's right. She doesn't have one X. She has two Xs on her back. <laughs> Good dig there by Stalzer. Easy over. Chance ball for Petron. They go outside. And, and it's going to be a point once again here for Signal. And here comes the rally. You know, the good thing about Molina is that Frances Molina there on your screen is that when she makes a mistake, immediately if she's given the chance, she'll get the point back for her team. And that's nice. You know, as a yeah. setter, you'd like to be able to go right back to her. Give her that confidence that she obviously will be needing. Good coverage there by Janela. Amerman. Scores again, and they're just down by one. You know, see, Amer Man, if you'll notice, whenever she hits, after she hits, when she goes back to her position, very super calm when she walks, super ladylike. But when she hits the ball, kakatakot. She is the coolest import we have here. Yeah. <laughs> Styles her with the serve. Almost an ace there. Good floor defense by Petron. Ball is alive. Anchetta sets the ball to Amerman. That's wow. We are now tied at nine. That's a good C set there. Kinky Amerman because she wants she's open, but she wants the ball not too high. Parishan quick when she went pero out, outside the set me Anchetta, and that's when she can really hit the ball hard. And that's why it's perfect that, you know, you can see ang ganda na nung ikot at ang ganda ng communication ng mga players. Because they played already, not just twice here against their opponents, but they played with each other yeah. and practiced for quite some time already. Yeah, that's the thing there, eh. experience with each other. Parang alam mo na yung, so to speak, ha, baho nung each yes. other, diba? And it's showing right now, we are yeah. tied. Actually, a one point enjoyed. And now we are tied. That was a smart move by Stalzer. She didn't hit that hard. She saw the blockers. So, talagang off speed, and that ball just went over the blockers. Alam mo, kita mo to si Stalzer, gigil na gigil maglaro. Oh, you know, yeah. sometimes, you know, for a player, you want to be able to play every single game. Yes. What happened the last time out, she was literally a spectator, just clapping for her teammates. Kaya ngayon, sobrang ganado siya maglaro. Oo. Eh. Oh, oh. Kaya lang she also needed that rest, diba? Because of the injury, the left leg injury. So, she's much needed today. Petron now up by just a point. Boy, the fans starting to get into it here. Adachi with the serve. Amerman again. Talagang walang question. We are going to you the entire day today. <laughs> Good set, Manchata. 
a touch there from Petron, so the point goes to Signal. Vivas earning that point for Signal. A really tight semifinals you're witnessing here. Oh, yeah, because this is a do or die game. If you lose here, that's it. You don't have a second chance to fight for first place. Bergsma. Ball still alive. That one goes out. There was no touch there. Vivas was trying to avoid the two blockers in front of her. It was a good idea. It was just a bit too wide. You know, you made a very good point a while ago that at the top of our coverage, you talked about the fact that all records are now yeah. scratched. Yeah. And so as far as Petron is concerned, you know, everything that they did fantastically in the elimination round all goes out the window if they lose here. That's right. Sayang, no? Because their standing is 8-2. But we don't really count the last game that they had because that was Agreed. when the reinforcements were asked to sit down to reserve their strength for today. So technically, it, they only just really had one loss. So if they lose now, sayang. We'll continue to talk about that right after this timeout. Small. First fight here. Okay, now. Royce. Kaya mo yan, ha? So, binigyan ka ng bola. Paluin mo yan. Sarah, if good receive. Sarah, Sarah. If good receive. 31. Yes, yeah, 3. Okay, because this is small. No good receive, you stay here. Okay. Tuloy ka, okay? Now, kaya mo dito siya, no? Umay, ha? Kahit malaki yan, lustan mo ng bola. Kailangan may confidence ka lang. It's good how Coach Sammy encourages his team, no? Parang encourage, yung talagang believe in yourself. That's what he said. And then I think the game will go to the middle spiker for Signal if they have a good reception. So let's see how they'll do. What I like in that particular huddle is, you know, the coach, Coach yeah. Sammy, in that particular instance, mm -hmm. made sure that he also made reference to his imports. Oh, yes. A lot of times, you know, they just talk to their, to yes. their team yeah. in Tagalog, yeah. without any, making, making any Kawawa reference to the import. Exactly. Right. The imports don't know what the, what's going on. Pero ang masaklap dun, eh, halos lahat ng mga bola pupunta sa import, eh. Tapos oh. hindi ko sila kinakausap. Correct, correct. Here's Amerman. Her team down by one. Poor reception by Dindin. And you know, the target of Signal is Dindin Santiago for Petron. Because she's not really very, um, how will you say it nicely? She's the most difficult. Oh, okay. We don't have a lot of ligoy-ligoy. That's the most difficult. Okay, call a spade a spade. She's the most difficult in the reception. And you know, so coaches will do that. You know, when they yeah. go, they, they go back to the drawing board. What they do is they try to evaluate all of the players, and they oh, say, yeah. "Sino yung pinakamahina jan? Yes. Yun ang targetin natin. Yun ang ginagawa ng Petron dito sa signal kay Amerman. At yun din ang gagawin nila dito sa kabila. Yeah, logical lang naman yun eh, so that less effort from your team. A lot of times, obviously, coaches will want to play to your strengths yes. and attack your opponent's weaknesses. So let's right. look for the weakest link and let's go there all day. Right. <laughs> Now you've got Nina Ganon, former NU Bulldog. Vivas oh. gets blocked. That's still alive. Wow, good dig there by Janela. Boy, Janela is just always at the right place at the right time. Trying to go cross court. It's not going to work. I thought it hit Vivas' hair because if it if it had hit her hair, then that would have been a touch. Pero good thing nakaiwas siya agad. And we are tied at 14. This is what we talked about early also. It's important para sa signal to just stay in step. Yes. We even talked about the fact that they've got to have an even stronger right. start. Good coverage by signal. Oh! The sweeper wasn't at the back. There's supposed to be one person left at the back. Allow, allow the five players to cover. Somebody has to stay at the back. Bergsma with a serve. Look at their conference average, 23 points per ball game. Phenomenal numbers. It's almost one whole set. That's true. <laughs> Easy ball. Chance ball for Signal. To Bino. You know, that's what happens when you have a good reception. Then your setter can set you up, and that's one of her favorite runs, the running spike. 
The blockers were late for Petron. That's why nakalusot yung block ni Tobino. And did you see the game face after she hit that ball? That's to put in the energy needed for her team. At yun din ang sinasabi ni Coach Sammy sa mga, mga players niya. Basta lakas lang na loob. Yun ang kailangan natin. Hindi malakas na serve. Oh, oh. Nalalabas na. <laughs> I was just gonna say, kailangan lakas ng serve. Well, we're gonna take another break. We're having so much fun here at the Conetas Dome. Don't go away. It's 16-15. Petron on top. The Philippine Super Liga is brought to you by Petron. Zin. Good serve there by Zapant and good eye by Averman. Boy, that just continued to sail and sail and sail in. People don't understand that is a difficult job to be able to just come in, oh, yeah. cold from the bench, and try to contribute. Yeah, right away, no service again. Here we go, Ancheta with a good serve. Ancheta has done very well to stay in step here with Adachi. Chance ball for Signal. Good coverage by Janela. And Vivas again with a point for Signal. At magbalik na naman tayo dito sinasabi ni Coach Sammy, lakas lang ng loob. Oh. Alam ko malalaki yung mga iba dyan, sabi niya. But you have to believe in yourself. Yeah, and she, he said, diba, na even if you've got tall blockers there, hampasin mo. And that's what she did. Well, for them, there is no tomorrow as far as trying to get to the finals is concerned. And there's going to be a rotation error. Yeah, I think it's a rotational error. But it can't be on Ancheta because she actually just served yeah. that one out previously. That's right. Unless it's a late call. Well, they're going to try to sort things out, and you, you can see Anjeta saying, What's going on? Yeah, because this is my <laughs> second serve. Never mind if it is my first. Baka nagkamali kami. Right. And Coach Sam is like, Huh? What? <laughs> What's going on here? Because that's crucial. I mean, first of all, is she had a very good serve. Yes. And you know, it breaks the momentum yes, of the players. Yes, th that is an excellent point. Oh, thank you. <laughs> because look at that. I mean, you know, they were on a roll, they yeah. just got the point. It's been a while since we've seen Signal on top. And then right. all of a sudden, I think the official said it was their bad. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. Is it? Stalls are still looking there, hoping. Same thing with Coach. Because, you know, Coach Sammy, Sammy yeah, he's not complaining because he knows that the rotation is correct. And Coach George is like, okay, my rotation isn't wrong. So what's going on? Here's confirmation. It can't be on Ancheta. Okay, the ref second referee is confirming the positions. Okay, we just saw Bergsma saying a few words. You know, one of the things that Petron should also concentrate on is just the game. Never mind the calls of the referees because I think that w that's what cost them a set in their previous game. Uh, there was just too much complaining and it just, you know, stopped the momentum. So, do we already know what went wrong? Hi. A rotational violation for Signal. Okay, so now what happens is they're going to give the point to Petron. Yes, yes, that's an automatic point for the opponent. So it should be 17 all. There you go. Again on your screen. Good serve, good dig by Jack Janela. Amerman with a point for Signal going in between the blocks. So Amerman is saying here, come on, let's just go with the flow. Let's dictate our own tempo. Good hit there in between the blocks. Big smile from her. Ancheta with the serve. Now this is her serve. Now it's her serve. <laughs> Legally. <laughs> Good dig by Zapanta. 
Ooh. Stalzer wasn't fast enough to get that ball. I think it's still, you know, her left leg is hurting her a bit. So I guess as far as her flying is concerned, it's not a no problem, problem. But when she has to scramble, yeah. that's when she starts to feel that twitch. Right. And good for Vivas. Makes up for the point lost from the error of Stalzer. Stalzer. 18, now you've got Praka up to serve for signal. Mina Ganon on your screen. Good dig by Bergsma. Good dig there by Stalzer. Amerman with a tip. She gets the point. And we are tied at 19. You know, earlier today when I went to the dugout of Signal, they had this big radio out in the corridor and they were just jamming. They were they were dancing and they were just having fun. Well, so far, they are having fun in the court. Yeah. And things are looking good. Good back set to Vivas. And Vivas brings in the point again for Signal. At lamang na sila ng isa. No timeout yet being signaled here by Coach George. You know, when we were talking earlier, we, the, we really think that Signal should take this first set so that they can grab the momentum because wala pa silang panalo sa Petrone. So if they get this first set, it'll be a big boost to their, to their, to themselves. Oh, definitely. And remember, they actually were very close as far as that last game of theirs was concerned. Yes. It went to five sets. Yeah. Petron won that, but it was three to two. Yes, that's right. So if they can win some sets, ibig sabihin lang nun, they can win a game as that well. That is true. You just got to come up and win the big points. Right. So Chagu with a serve. And again, they continue to go to Averman. Yeah. a good job with the net, but Tubino hit the tape, so the point goes to Petron. Let's look at that again. There. There was a touch at the tape. Petron up by one. This is the business end of set number one. Good serve there. Nice floater. Amerman again, no matter where she is in the court. Line ball. So Stalzer gets that point for signal. You know, yeah. they have been going to Amerman because historically she's supposed to be the weakest yes. of them all. But today she has been almost perfect. Do you think Pedron should start serving it to somebody else? You know what? I really think it doesn't matter where they serve it to because the signal seems to be really prepared for this. I mean, look at Jack Janela, the way she covers, the way she runs after the ball. And look at how they hit the ball, and Stalzer gets that point again for Signal. Signal has now taken the lead. It's 22-21. Watch it here. Good arm extension, good drawback. And she saw late si Maika Morado for the block. So, ang bilis nung pagkapalo niya ng bola. Amerman with the serve. Good dig there by Amerman. Good setup by Janela. Petron is there, ready for that. Signal once again with an opportunity. Ancheta back set. Tubino with a running hit. And the defense already king on Stalzer. Team. Yung blocker dito, pag nag-running, ikaw nang kukuha. And then yung defense natin, hindi makatayo. Expect nyo, every time yung bola is pupunta sa inyo, parang dito yung magugulat. Pag doon yung defense tayo, kailangan basa, steady, and then basa. Hindi kung saan-saan tayo pumoy pesto. Steady muna, pag-hit, right contact, galaw. Parang tayo nang dito, and then, kinukuha niyo yung pesto, hindi. Division lang lang, ano yan, division lang yung defense Okay, Coach George there said you have to study where the ball is going to go. You don't just move around. You have to wait for the ball to be hit so that you know the direction of the ball. And then you move. Important talaga yun eh, reading the opponent. Definitely. You can't just waste your energy doing whatever you want to do. Sayang. It's 
So read. Ito nga ayo sayang ng Petronio kanila pagkakataon to make it to the finals. They were virtually unstoppable yeah. in the elimination round. Good Chance double. once again here. Oh, good coverage by Petron. But signal, another opportunity. Vivas goes down the line, out. Na, nabasa na si Vivas eh, because the direction of her ball is always down the line. So this time, they, Petron knew what to do, and of course, they saw, they read, they followed Coach George, they read the ball just when she hit the ball, and nabasa nila outside yon. Critical point for both these teams. Stalzer, no, Amerman from the outside, sends that long. And now we're tied at 23 all. But it still should be a better, better opportunity here for Signal because they're in the receiving spot. Yes, they can set up for an offense right away. A Ganon, good serve. Amerman again. Stalzer. Oh, Stalzer doesn't get that up and over. Yeah, that was four touches. Oh, no, it was blocked. This is a very good timeout from Coach Sammy. He needs to calm his girls down. They've lost out on two opportunities Sometimes receiving already. The ball is not good. You drop here. Ah, you have to take be smart during game. Okay, now. Pasahan lang kasi nahirapan ito eh. Lagyan yung bola dito sa kanya. Hayaan mo naman sila yung si dito. Itaas mo lang ang bola. Si Roy. Roy. Okay, pabihin mo si Roy. Wala problema sa mali. Bumawi ka ngayon, okay? Tandaan nyo. Pag nagkamali tayo ang ganyan, crucial. We should be strong. We should be smart, okay? SS from Coach Sammy Caralar. Strong and smart. You know, when you're in a position like this, crucial, 24-23, don't let your setter run after the ball. Give the first ball to your setter so that she can put up the ball and then you can attack. Adachi and the rest of her squad looking to be able to steal this first set. Good up. Good reception there by Patron. A lob ball. Go outside to Stalzer. She just pushes it through. With her left hand. Easy ball. Uh-oh. Okay. Nicely done. It's up. Patron. Bergsma. And they have just stolen the first set. It looked like that should have been advantage for Signal. They were in the driver's seat at the crucial opportunity, just not able to close it up. Everybody is going mad as Solar Entertainment Corporation. And we'd like to welcome you back here to the Conetta Astronome as we take a look at the numbers of set number one. Wow, as you can see there, in terms of attacks, that's seven points up on signal. But look at the errors, 11 to 4 only of Petron. Also, well, the blocks, the blocking coverage of Petron is better than signal. So they really have to step up in terms of blocking, service aces, and minimize the errors. And you said that already. Alam yeah. mo, ang nangyari ko sa kanilang mga attacks, yeah. na-negate lang yung magandang attacks oh, dahil eh. sobrang dami naman yung pagkakamali Errors, nila. Right, that's right. So, kailangan wake up. They need the set. They can't be down two sets. It's going to be very hard to muster energy to fight for the third set. So, let's see. But you can see Eric and Dachi, they were a little bit of concern because obviously they thought that this might have been an easy yeah, match. I but think obviously, so. alam nila ngayon, mapapalaban sila sa araw na to. Oh, nga. And uh, the stats now is that Bergsma has eight attacks and three blocks to her name. For Sigma, Bukas has five attacks and Stalzer, five attacks. So, ang Petron, Bergsma pa lang gumagawa talaga. So, I think Bergsma pa lang yung gumagawa and they won the first set. So let's see once the others pick up their pace, what's gonna happen. And Chetu with a good serve, it's a floater. Dindin Santiago wants her name on the board. 
do you think that Petron should try to go to Dindin Santiago a little bit more dahil parang medyo puro Bergsman na sila ngayon oh, dito sa ating first set? Medyo quiet si Dindin, you know. Yeah, I think they should distribute the sets because even Mina Aganon is a very good hitter. Good cross-court hit, good dig. Another Easy chance over. here for Signal, let's see. Back set, it's dug once again. Offensively, Bergsma going down the line and scoring. You know, I think what happened there was that Jack Janela was anticipating a hard hit, a strong hit from Bergsma, but then she just put it over. She kindly just put her spike over, and that's why the reception of Janela was like that. Off time. That was a perfect setup for Praka. Bumawi naman agad, de ba ang signal? You know, with Praka, if you give her the the perfect set, wow, she's really gonna hammer it in. And that's exactly what she did in that particular point. Yeah. Three to Petron, up by just a single digit. Bindin Santiago now. Up to search, he has a lot of fans here. It's a good floater. Good dig there by Santiago. Bergsma with a tip. Basam basasya ni Junela. Oh, alam na niya. Cross court, scoring once again is Vivas. You know they did not expect that because previous to this, Vivas kept doing it down the line, and now she did a cross court hit. Uh, off position, see Erika Dashi that time. Amerman. You know, Amerman is good friends with Kaylee Mans of Main and Tail. They so, grew up together. So I guess it, it was an easy decision for her to come to Manila. I guess. <laughs> you know, you talk to a lot of the imports. A lot of them, of course, you know, they've never been to the Philippines before. Yes. Mm -hmm. Having to fly, especially from the United States, that's halfway around the world. Right. It's got to be a little bit daunting. Oh, yeah. Especially, you know, they know that the Philippines is third world. So you've got the sickness there and all that. But, you know, kudos to them. They're playing. And after the conference, they're going to go to a lot of the beaches that we have here. Well, you're here already. Might as well yeah. take advantage. Exactly. Bang! You know, that was off the arm of Ancheta, but even if that didn't hit the arm of Ancheta, it would have gone in. We're tied at four. It has been a very competitive first semifinal. Oh, definitely. In fact, you know, a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of the fans are saying it might be a little bit unfair to Petron if they lose here in the semifinal right. because talaga nang ibabaw sila sa lahat eh. oh, and yeah. then in one game in right. the semifinals natalo ka lahat nung kumbaga puhunan mo na sayang right. oh paano kung biglang ngayon lang sila nag off yung game True. right that's why a lot of times in some leagues or in some you know there are different formats where you can actually have a twice to beat yes. advantage for the number 1 and number 2 team but oh. here in the superliga they want to make things really interesting or in you know Fans love do or die games. Yes. I mean, Petron and their coaches have don't like the situation that they were they were I'm number sure. one and yeah. they have no advantage against number four. But for the fans, it's exciting every time you know that pag natalo yung team, uwi na sila. Oh, oh. Kaya they really have to show their talents here and the guts. Mm, like right that. now, this girl is showing her talent. Molina scoring once again. She's got two points in the game. You know, before playing volleyball, she was a high jumper. And now we know why she's yeah. got that kind of a leap. <laughs> right. Her mom is six feet tall and her dad is 5'9". Wow. That's why she's 5'9". Perfect. Yun talaga yung perfect para sa sports. Oh. Not See able who to they get target? There. Yes. Well, especially, you know, in the digs. It's so yes. hard for Dindin, who's 6'5", to oh. have to be able to really crouch down yes. and pick that up. Oh, tall. Kaya nga mga liberos are small, eh, because they're closer to the ground. Yun na talaga. Advantage nila. Yeah. Lower center of gravity. They're more mm. agile. They're quicker. Yes. Correct. Good block by Stalzer. Just with the net. Adachi back set. Bergsma. Ooh. She can't get that over. That was blocked. That again.
That was a good block by Stalzer, and she liked it. 7-6. The team captain, Honey Royce Tomino. Game face there. Good floater. Jen Reyes was there. And Molina gets the score for Petron. They say it's off the block, so it's going to be another point. And we are tied at seven. You know now, uh, so far, Signal is really fighting this out. Because the score is one, one after the other. It's like a seesaw. Lang, eh. Good blocking there. Oh. The net was on the side of Petron. Score is 8-7. to seven. Petron up by one. Back to our first semifinal. Petron up against Signal. Bang! Wow, good dig there by Jen Reyes. Chad's ball for Signal. Good coverage by Bergsma. Good coverage by Jack Janela. Wow. <laughs> Good set by Adachi. You've got Stalzer. Molina once again. And she makes it this time. Let's check in now with Selena. Yes, Anthony and Chicky coming into the set. The main goal of Petron is to sustain their performance while eliminating careless errors. To do this, Coach George reminds them to communicate and execute their plays mindfully. If anything, Coach reminds his team not to be overconfident. He advises his team to treat the set as if it were their first and forget all errors they may have committed. To add to this, Erica Dachi also tells her team to have initiative and be that player who digs for the ball, especially since this is the most important game for them. Anthony and Chicky. Yes, that's true. This is the most important game for both these squads. And you know what the attitude of Adachi is? She says, let's not make them think that they can play volleyball. Galeng, no? I said that before when I heard her say it. I announced it on air. And that's the kind of teammate you want, diba? Because talagang gaganahan ka. Ganahan ka to play. Well, she's definitely a leader on the floor. Yes. And so far, her team has been able to follow her lead. All the way to a almost perfect record of eight and one. As you mentioned, it was eight and two, technically speaking, in reality. Yeah. But obviously, that was a game that they actually gave away because they didn't play their imports. That's right. And now Petron earned that point through a blocking error there from Signal. Good up. Stalzer. Easy over, chance ball for Signal. Amerman trying to get that point through a dink. Going down the line was Santiago. You know, a while ago I saw Coach George talk to Dindin saying, come on, loosen up, loosen up those shoulders and hit that ball hard. And that's what she did. Francis Molina, three attacks and one block to her name. Nina Aganon. Stalzer. You know, when she went up for that hit, there were three blockers waiting for her, but she escaped them. That is experience coming yeah. into play here for Stalzer. Anchata serving. Is it her turn? <laughs> Just check. <laughs> Just checking because of what happened in the first set. Well, I guess it's her turn. There's no call. And that's a good point. No, there was oh, that's no right. call it was until delayed. after her second serve, remember? That's right. That's why I was making that joke. Yeah, because I know. Doon lang natin na malaya nung tapos na yung punto si. But now she came up with a very good serve. She came up with an ace and her team down by one. Looking for another ace. Good serve. Amerman trying to get the point. And nobody was there to block Bergsma. That is not what you want to do if oh, you yeah. want to win a semifinal. Right. You've got to be able to block Bergsma. 
Pinarasin na natin yung kapon, di ba? O pag nagrarani yan dito ka, bakit ka pumupunta rito? Tapos ikaw, kalahati niyan, dyan ka. Pag sumusubong ka na hirap din na sa likod. Pagsagsaka talaga tayo. Ngayon, kung sumusurrender kayo, wala tayo mapupuntahan. Pagsagahan natin to. So, you know, Coach Sammy drew a line in his um, board there because it was just to signify where the players were supposed to position themselves. And that's why you've got six zones. You have to know your zones. You have to know the responsibilities attached to the zone. And ito nga sa sobrang passionate ni Coach Sammy na Tagalog na lang siya. But I'm sure... You know, nakuha din naman ni Nostalzer what he meant. Just play with heart. Well, right now, playing with all her heart is Elena Bergsma. And they have opened up a four-point lead here in the second set. Let's see if Malaluan could help her team out. Crucial din dito, Anthony, mga adjustments that the coaches do during a game. So let's see. That, yeah. So you sit her down on the bench, just one play. Yeah. And hopefully you think she gets you it. hope she's able to turn that switch back. Right. And then right after that they've gotten two straight points. Right. Good observation there. Coach George, no panic on his face. Yet. Yet. You know, Coach George said it's useless to be angry with a team during a match. They're just going to be disheartened. So be angry during training, but not during the games. So, well, so far, it's worked for Yeah, Patrona. it's worked. Right. Like that, on cue. <laughs> Santiago now starting to get into the scoring. Act. She has not been as vocal and as productive as she has been here in the second set. You know, I noticed with Signal, parang nakaslump na yung shoulders nila. They have to get out of that groove. They have to encourage themselves. That's why Coach Sam keeps reiterating, have some heart, come on. Not the best of sets. Yeah. Good set. Bergsma. And when you have a good set, you can almost be sure you'll have a perfect attack. That's exactly what happened. And so far, near perfect is Patron. They're up 16 to 12. Signal is down by four, so let's see if Amerman can score with a serve. Unfortunately, it hits the net. And that is going to hurt their rally. Definitely. Well, that five-point advantage is a real luxury here. Oh. Look at this. They're substituting Amerman because she's probably tired from receiving all those services. Yeah, and that's hits. a good point. Now let's see if if this replacement would work, work for Signal. We go outside, stalls her. Chance once again. Bergsma pushes it through, and nobody willing to get down and dirty. Yeah, you know, down and dirty. That's the key, really. You have to run after the ball wherever it goes. Kahit na sumubsub ka sa floor. Go for it. Oh, wala siya lang eh. And she, I think, was the furthest from all the other players. Man, you know, well, now you've got Argarine to set for signal. Maybe this will work for them. Mina Ganon with a good floater. Almost an ace. And a good point there <laughs> from signal to Ronnie Royce. Would you say that parang medyo nag-relax ng konti yung Petron dun sa, sa puntos na yun? You know, when they saw Averman sitting down, yeah. and then all of a sudden, Argarin came in. Yeah. It looked like, you know, they weren't set defensively. Oh, nga, they thought it was gonna be an easy ball. But, surprise, hindi pala. Bergsma. The defense was there. Oh, okay. That hit the antenna. Stalzer was saying that it just hit the net, but the referee is saying no, it hit the antenna. And I agree with the referee. Yeah. Pero siyempre, di ba, pag ikaw yung nag-hit nun, you'll deny. That's true. <laughs> deny till you drop. <laughs> the match is over. Yeah. 
Here we go, Molina. And she scores again, and don't look now, but this is the biggest lead of this set, and actually the biggest lead of either team here in this match. We need to see more energy for Signal. Energy, more movement, they have to be on their toes. Look at Coach Sammy Akailar thinking what that to do. That is a real look of concern. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's still far from 25. They can still make it. Twice, Adachi was trying to get into the scoring act. And she apologizes to her teammates saying, okay, okay. I'll go back to setting. You know, I think she was just really having fun now. Parang taking it lightly and then suddenly because of that error from Jen Ray, she goes, okay, that's it. <laughs> serious. <laughs> Let's be serious here. But at the same time, it also works because right now, it now gets the other team thinking na, eh, gusto palang pumunto si Tusia Dachi. Oh. Good up ball. Good coverage from by Bergsma. Going down the line, Vivas can't control that one, and Molina scores again. Molina has been a real gem here, para sa Petron. And see si Molina, you can't really predict where she's gonna put the ball because sometimes her shoulders are facing diagonally, but her hands, biglang ililis niya yung ball and she'll go down the line. That's why ang key look at the ball, not really the hand, but the ball. Where is it gonna go? Nice serve here for Morada. On the outside, the defense was there. And look at Adachi. The defense was there, but they didn't move to get that ball. Momentum first. Yan nga dapat, yan nga dapat natin set yung character natin eh, di ba? Yung mga, yun ang mga pagtubog sa atin. Paano natin isusolve yan? Come on, come on. Alam natin malayo na ang score nila, pero paano? Dapat ginagawa natin lahat ng paraan yan. Hindi pa din buha pa pa tayo ng buha pa pa. Tayo nangangailangan ng set, di ba? Dapat hindi na kumbang yung ingay, yung gana sa loob ng court, hindi nawawala. Karakter! Yung palaban ba? Ha? Hindi, saka hindi kayo dapat nainis. Hindi kayo dapat nawawala ng pag-asa. Kailangan pagsigaan lang natin yan. Well, Coach Sammy really so passionately reminding his team that this is the test of character. This is about mental toughness. Do whatever it takes to win the set. And you know, when you say do whatever it takes, it means move. It means talk in the court. It means shout. The can bring the energy back. Would you say that he was talking to his team in preparation for the third set? Because right now, this is a huge eight-point deficit. Medyo mahirap na talaga sila. Oh, nga, medyo mahirap na nga. Pero I think, ano, it's really for this particular set. Kasi he's re still hoping that the team would be able to catch up. And look at Patron just having so much fun. Yeah. Another point scored here by Dindin Santiago. And she has been in a role here in the second set. In fact, Bergsma has actually taken a back seat to Santiago. Who has really led the D offensive charge? Yeah, for the second set. Bergs ma kasi first set, eh, no? And Not now, to say na walang punto si Bergs ma, but you know, uh -uh. mas maraming yes. ginagawa si Santiago rito. Yes. And well, that was a good um, long ball from Petron, a badly needed point for Signal. So Signal gets the point. Yes. The only thing is there are eight more set points that they've got to go through. Buti na lang, oh, and Chetta remembered it's not her turn to serve. Otherwise, the point would have gone immediately, automatically to Petron. Boy, can you imagine that'll happen again? Yeah. At this stage, we're in set point na nga. Oh, nga. Just pushing it and scoring once again is Molina. And just like that, Petron in total control of semi-final number one. They took the first set, 25-23. The second, much easier at 25-16. The Philippine Superliga is brought to you by Petron. Petron, the errors, Petron still has fewer than Signal. Service aces, blocks, uh, nothing much there. You know what Signal should do now? Forget about the first and second set, because they've done this before. They were down two sets to none, and still they were able to win games. 
So now they have to start out strong. They have to be loud in the court, noisy. Uh, they should be talking. They should be running after the ball wherever it goes. And the rotation nila. That's right. But sure. But you can see, obviously, they did their homework. Nabawasan na yung kanilang mga mistakes. Yes. So they're unforced errors. Nabawasan na nila. But again, they were totally dominated as far as the attacks. Yes. It's really also because of the first ball. Eh. If you don't have a good first ball, you can't set up for a good attack. And again, binabalik natin yun sa sinabi mo nga. You said that exactly the way you said it during the pregame. Yes. And you said that was very critical and very crucial for Signal. Well, nakinig sila nung first set. Oh, oh. Sa second set, hindi nangyayari yun. Sa so second set, what happened was parang they were down. Eh. They were down because they lost the first set. So you can't have that mindset. There you go, Stouts are creating noise for Signal. And right now at this stage, it is imperative yes. for Signal to be able to get off to a jackrabbit start and win this third. Here we go with Praka. Bird smooth with the hit. Ooh, one-handed reception there from Amerman. Boy, that went straight back to Vivas. Wala pa siyang reaction time nun. Ang hirap naman i-mag-react nun, no? When the ball just speedily goes back to you that way. So, bawi na lang. Now you've got Dindin Santiago. Si Dindin, meron niyang injury on the arm, on both legs, but you can't really tell the way she plays. That time, the serve went straight to the best risk, the, the best receiver, the best defensive player in Jack Junella, and she wasn't able to handle it. Wow, must be a real good floater from Din Din. Where is she looking at? Amerman. <laughs> and she should have looked a little bit over the net. Oh, correct. <laughs> Uh, now let's see where Stalzer is going to aim her serve. And it goes to... Ah! Dapat yun yata kay Dindin eh, saved by Mina Aganon. Vivas with a cross court. Bergsma! Earns the point for Petron. Even off our second referee. <laughs> off the block. That was a strong block there. Goes to the referee. Buti na lang volleyball players din tong referees natin. Just not as agile as he yeah. used to be a couple of years ago. Huh? Right. Argarine. Good set. Smart move by Tubino, not hitting it hard, targeting zone six. We're tied at three here. Early stages of set number three. You A know, spate of yes. threes, go ahead. You know, the fans are, if you can hear them, they're cheering for Signal. I hope they pick up on that and get the energy that they need from that. That time, not able to get enough on that defensive stop. Let's see what happened there. Molina hits the ball and Vivas just couldn't take the power of it. Bergsma, team captain. Goes down the line again, targeting Amerman. Amerman. Amerman oh. goes right back to Bergsma and says, take that. Kala <laughs> Pero medyo mas malakas naman yung bola na parating doon kay Bergsma. Oh, ma. Kesa doon sa serve. Here we have Honey Royce to be, no? Up to serve for Signal. She just has to put that ball in and maybe, you know, score for them through the serve. Good block there. You know, that was a smart move by Molina. The first time she hit the ball, it was so hard, it was blocked. So the next time, she just wanted to tip it over. The blocking, the coverage of Signal wasn't prepared for that. And Tuloy, na regalo. And of course, tatanggapin niya yung regalo. Former FU Tamarao, Michael Murada. 
That's a good hit there by Abby Praka. And they're going to need more from Praka if they want to stay alive here in the semifinal. Oh, yes. They have to establish their middle hitters. Amerman with a good serve. An ace. Well, thanks to the net. You know, it's because whenever the ball hits the net, it just changes its speed and its direction, so it's hard to receive. Amerman once again, good floater. Ouch! Grabe naman tong si Dindin. She was just head and shoulders above everybody else. I know, you know, she just loved that set. It was a good see quick and she just hammered it in. Look at this. Wow. It's hard to stop. That's almost impossible to stop. <laughs> Unless you can bring in a tank here inside the Connect Astro. All door. right. Easy over there for Signal. Good hit there. And Stalzer. Cross court hit by Bergsma, but Signal was there. Mina Aganon gets the point for Petron finally. Aganon has been quiet here in this match. She had a couple of points. And only a couple. Well, let's see if she's going to make some noise. This could be the last set. Good blocking coverage there by Janela. That's inside, a good blocking coverage by Praka. Blocking Aganon there and earning the point for Signal. Well, again, Signal staying in step, which is actually the, what they were able to do in the first two sets. Kaso lang do sa latter stage and second set, medyo kumalas sila. Oh, I, I, it's been a trend in the first set. Ganun then they got stuck at 23. And then in the second set, they were head-to-head -head with Petron. And then now third set, it's like that. I hope the energy level won't dwindle. And we'd like to welcome you back here to the Conetta Astrodome for the first of our two semifinals. Dami talagang magagandang Pinay, no, Anthony? That's why we love the Philippines. Right. Well, for the top scorers at the moment, for Petron, Bergsma has 15 attacks and 3 blocks. So, Dindin Santiago has 9 attacks. Molina has 8 attacks and 1 block. For Signal, Stalzer still leads at 9 attacks and 1 block. Viva, 7 attacks. And Amerman, 7 atta attacks and 2 service aces. Going cross court that stays inside as we check in with Selena. Yes, Coach Sammy is not happy at all with how his team has been performing on their defense, so he repeatedly instructed Signal to increase their anticipation and mobility on court. Din pani coach na at this point na pa importante na wag sila mad down kasi hindi pa tapos ang laban. Coach also points out na nagkakanya kanyang players niya. The key for them is to regroup and work as a unit. Ang problema lang daw nila e eh, magaling lang daw sila pag nananalo sila. Dapat pag natatalo e eh, mas lumaban. Anthony and Chiki. You know that's so hard to do it. Talagang mental toughness. Diba? Because uh, when you're down, you have to really muster all the know-how of volleyball in your head and to apply it here. And not only that, you have to work with your teammates. So uh, that's right. Regroup, talk to each other, come up with a good strategy. That That's the call of uh, Argarin. So let's see what's going to happen now. Signal has oh. taken the lead and the second mistake from Praka here in this match from the serve. Man. And Coach Sammy quickly shrugs it off. Yeah. Tells Praka, never mind. Just sit back down and bumawe. Yeah, sabagay. What else can you do, right? That's in the past. That's right. So. Sabi ni Coach Sammy, I need to also have a short memory. Yeah. <laughs> Vivas. Does she get that point? It's stays alive. No, it doesn't. Vivas gets the point for Signal. 
You know, I wonder what happened there to Petron because the ball was high. Uh, it could have easily been just, you know, easy over, and yet uh, an error was committed there. Adachi has three attacks and 37 excellent sets so far, while Ancheta has one attack and 24 excellent sets. And we're still in the early stage here of our third set of dominant and excellent sets. Yeah. Well, that ball went out. It hit the antenna. I think Amerman was trying to avoid the blockers, and the blocker in front of her is Bergsma. Good set there. Good coverage. He no like adjust lang to Amerman. I think that ball went a little bit too far. That's why she was in an awkward position to take that hit. But she did something about it. Look at this. Whoops. There you go. It is now 11 to 10. Vivas on the line. Oh, good coverage there. They were prepared, but Jack Janello was there in front of Averman, and Averman tried to hit that ball, but couldn't really put in the energy or the strength that the ball needed to go over the net because she's going to hit Janella. Na ilang siya doon kay Janella? Oh, na ilang siya, kahit na hanggang dibdib lang si Janella. What is this? Oh, <laughs> Someone beside me. What? Not big lash, I think, more than anything else. Oh, Tupino yeah. trying to go down the line, goes outside. And here comes Artates and Ancheta. Well, I think this is the first time for Artates to play in this particular game. Let's see what she can contribute to the team. Bergsma, the beauty queen, who's also the team captain of Petron. Easy over, chance ball. Yan yung sinasabi kong call your balls. Because the, the first ball should not be taken by the setter. That's right. Or else, paano niyo na magagawa yung kanyang trabaho? Right. Look at Jack Janela, the way she walks towards the end line. Her shoulders are slumped. Masadong, masadong watak tayo eh. Regroup naman tayo. Masadong watak eh, kaya ganyan eh. Alam naman niyo kung saan kayo pupunta dapat, di ba? Tsaka, pag taas ang bola dapat, dapat yung decision ninyo, yun na. Hindi siya na nagbabago. Pag tumaas ang bola sa atin, dapat natutulungan ng isa. Ay nangyari, parang hirap na hirap tayo. Ay, pagaan din natin ang sarili natin sa loob ng court. Tama pagaan lang siya. Ha? Huwag niyo masyado i-pressure sa sarili natin. Ganun lang. Coach Sammy was encouraging the team once again. Um, this time, it had to be in Filipino because it was with so much emotion. Mahirap i-translate sa English yung emotion, di ba? Pag Filipino yung words, may iba talagang dating eh. And then, you know, tama siya because the, the players of Signal, individually, they're very good. But the key is how to work as a team. And that's a misreception there by... Stalzer, they have to make noise. You know why I keep saying make noise? Because that's how you get the energy inside the court. Eh? Let's see if they can start to get some of that energy that they need. Trying to go to Amerman. Tubino sends it long. Tubino was under the ball. Back to back service reception errors. One by Stalzer, then by Amerman. And don't look now, but it's a four-point advantage opened up quickly here by Petron. Now we've got Argarin back in the ball game and Vivas. Bergsma with a good floater and a service ace. They have constantly been going to her from the very beginning. The 
great size crowd we have here inside the Connect Astro Dome. This is the first of our two semifinals. Oh, smile, smile, Anthony. <laughs> and she's hard at work. <laughs> uh oh, this is four straight service reception errors. Oh man, that is costly. It started with Stalzer, Dalawaka Amerman, at Neon Jan K. Vivas. Bergsman knows who to target. Boy, Amerman, nila pa siya lahat ng sama ng loob ng sa palong yun. Ah, ganun, ha? Parang yun yung sinabi ng hit niya, eh, no? But unfortunately for Signal, you see that five-point lead yeah. that's enjoyed by Petron. Apat dun, doon sa pagkakamali na sa service reception. Well, let's see. Maybe if this time they learn from that, they'll protect their zones and be able to uh, avoid errors like those. Good big there by Stalzer. Chance here for Signal. They need this point. Molina. Good save by Signal. They go outside. And that is long. Yes, that's long from Molina. So Signal still has hope here. Yes, and what an effort. They never gave up. They should not give up. Let's see. Just if Tobino can just put her service in. Does it score point? Yes, it does. It's a service ace. Nako, tatawag naman ang time once it goes George because suddenly it looked like the momentum was on their side. Okay, Ngayon, okay. bumalik na. Ganun gagawin nila, team. So, focus muna tayo sa receive. Why? Kasi yung, yung, yung setup nila is nasa harapan. So, advantage tayo. Ngayon, kung sa service pa lang, hindi natin ma-receive, mahihirapan tayo. So, samantalan natin yung advantages natin kasi nasa harapan nito. Okay? So, dalawa is fighter, advantage tayo, tatlo. So, mid, yung, yung setter is maliit. So, kailangan... You know, you know why Coach George kept saying it's good the setter is in front because she's small. So when she goes up for a block, it's not really a threat. Okay, take advantage now. Let's see if they can start keying on that. Three-point advantage enjoyed by Petron. Signal with the serve. Good floater. Good floor defense there by Signal. Oh! Nasayang yung pagod. And Adachi saw that hole. Smart move by Adachi. As we look at that again, akala mo is a set niya, and then dinks it over. Michael Morada. Good floater. Good call by Argarine. Bergsma with a hit, block, but Jack Janela was too far for the coverage. And Amerman just had to put her hands out and say, where were you? And the lead has ballooned back up to five. My camarada again. Agreeing with a good set. Bergsma with an easy over. And Amerman. Wow! Oh my it came goodness! Back. I thought that was gonna go wide, but, and they, I think Signal thought the same thing. And nobody was there for the coverage. Let's look at that again. Misreceive it, diba? It was too strong, it went over the net, and then, oh man, zone one. Sabi ni Murada, that's why it's better to be lucky than good. Right. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And they need that badly. They need yeah. to stem the tide because the lead is still at five right now. But medyo nabigyan sila ng konti pang buhay dito. Oh, oh. so take advantage of that. Dapat sila. Never give up, said Coach Sammy. Amerman with a good floater. Good dig there by Amerman. Joust at the net. 
We've got a good rally, but stopped by Dindin Santiago almost immediately after I said a good rally. She was just waiting for that. Adachi was itching to give it to her. And now we have Petron four points away from the finals. Malaluan is in, Rafa is out. Rafa gets to sit a little bit. Molina is serving for Petron. Good floater. Amerman again. And Stalzer hits the line for Sega. So may buhay pang signal, 16 to 21. Argerin with a good serve. A good dig from Jack Janela. An easy over. Petron does something about it. Nina Aganon. Stalzer. And she finally hit. scores. Right, it's an off, off beat hit. Smart, kasi naman ng volleyball, hindi naman talaga all power eh. You have to use your smarts as well. Bergman trying to go for the pancake. Yeah. Wasn't there in time. Lead has been cut down to four. Arguing sure service there. Good dig! And it's still alive. And Santiago says, that's it. Tinarget din ni Santiago, same person eh. Look at this. It could be quick. Argarine was there, but it was just too strong. This just might be the final timeout. Hindi na papahuli ka. Hindi ka dapat magpapahuli sa gitna. Huwag tayong umuho. Gawin natin dapat, di ba? Anyway, pabuli natin kung ano yan. Tao lang, tao lang. 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 Well, we heard Jack Janela say with passion this time, piestang piesta sila. Ibig sabihin, we're making it very easy for them. So come on, because you know, Signal is better than this. They've played a lot of matches and they've put in some extra work there, a lot more energy than what we're seeing right now. Well, Erika Dacia has led by example and her energy has really fed into the rest of her team. Amerman from the back row scores. There were three blockers there for Amerman, but it didn't matter. And there we go, we have Fraka again. Now they're just four points down. It's easy enough to catch up. Now if, can, if Fraka can just put her service in. And she does. Well at this stage they cannot afford any more yeah. service errors. Tubino scores. You know, every time Argerian puts up a set for the middle hitters, it most often than not scores for signal. So if they can, but the trick is you can't set a middle hitter if the first ball is not good because it's so hard to set a middle hitter. Bergma, will they keep it alive? Nope. Braga not able to get there. I wonder if you can get it sa solar. That, that, uh, no, that sign there and try to get that ball. Maybe not. I'm Mark. sure you need to be on. She was thinking, how could I have gotten to this just to keep it alive? I know. Dahil medyo dihadong dihadong na kami. That was a good, good blocking defense there from Petron. They read the offense. They knew it was going to come from the middle hitter. Unfortunately, Signal's coverage wasn't there. It is now set point, match point. Nakita mo yon? See, Bergsma, she directed that block to go to the side. 
but it's hard to uh, no, to cover. All they need is just one more point, but they said that long. Natawa na lang si Dindin doon. Oh, Petron calling a timeout here. Coach George leaving nothing to chance. I know. So the play is going to be either to Micah Morada or Bergsma with a B quick. So let's see how that's going to be executed. They just need a good reception, Coach George said. Well, first and foremost, Stalzer needs to get this in. Oh, yes. Will she? Yes. And uh, that's overreaching from Adachi. So now it's just three points down. I hope they take advantage of this. Stalzer again with an all-important serve. Good serve there. Bergsma and goes down it. the line. Petron goes to the finals on Sunday and they just can't wait who they're going to go up against. Well, they've continued their winning ways. Yes, they lost that last match two days ago in a match that they actually gave away, so oh, yeah. to speak, because yes. they were preparing for bigger battles ahead. At yun na nga, they won that big battle here today in preparation for the biggest battle of all this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday. And you could see that they prepared for today because the movement in the court was very fluid. Everybody was given a chance to hit the ball. Uh, they were smiling. They were having fun in the court. And you know, when you're having fun, it translates in your actions. Let's talk about Signal also very briefly. They came up with their A game. They were very competitive in the middle stages, up to the middle stage of every set. But then, pagkatapos na nakita natin, kumakala sila sa dulo. Oo nga. Unfortunately, the energy level goes down when it gets to the 15 and 17 part of the scoring. And that's the tough part because mentally, when you hit that point and your opponent is ahead of you, parang yung mental toughness no mo, it qu qu quivers. You know, because you think, oh no, am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make a mistake? And that's why Coach Sammy keep, kept reiterating, puso, uh, you know, forget the past, forget the errors, just play the game. Right now, let's take a look at the bracket. And as you can see there, Petron safely now in the finals. We're going to have our second game in just a little bit. It's Generica and RC Cola Philippine Air Force to find out who will face Petron in the finals. And of course, right now, let's check, turn, turn it over and check in with Selena Dagdan. Yes, Shiki Anthony here with me is Coach George once again and our most impressive player of the game, Elena. So, Coach, kayo po yung unang kakausapin. Coach, great performance today by your team. Congratulations po. Pero matanong ko, Coach, inaasahan niyo bang mapapanalo niyo yung laban na ito within just three sets? Yes, of course. Kasi uh, our goal is to, to reach the, the, the finals. So, yung game plan namin, na-execute namin ng maayos. So, with the help of two imports, kaya yun nag, uh, nag stride din yung mga locals natin. So, kaya nagkaroon ng uh, good uh, coordination ng bawat sa. Oh, nakita nga po namin yung coordination na yun, Coach George. Now, Elena, congratulations. He scored 25 points in this game, and you are our most impressive player of the game. Now, let me ask you, in a way, you and your team played in today's matchup, would you say you're ready for the finals this coming Sunday? I think we are ready. Uh, we played really well as a team. We're clicking. Uh, everything seems to go be like falling into place at the right time, and I definitely think we're ready. Congratulations once again, Elena. We're looking forward to seeing you both on the finals this Sunday. That is all for now, Anthony and Chicky. You know, when you talk about a well-oiled machine, you've got to really look at Petron. Yeah. They were they were just about perfect all throughout this conference. I yes. mean, a perfect, almost perfect record of 8-2 and two in the elimination round. Right? Yeah, and that's why most people thought that Petron was really going to get this match because of the record that they had throughout the conference. And it would have really been a bummer if they just lost this one game. Well, 
That does it for our very first semifinal. But don't go away because coming up next, we're going to have another dandy. Genetic Lifesavers up against RC Cola Air Force Raiders in just a little bit. The Philippine Superliga was brought to you by Petron.